Bain with Altis here. I'm a sprints and hurdles coach. I'm here to talk to you guys about the importance of sleep. Why is sleep so important for athletes? Well, you can get a hormone boost from it. It helps improve your immune system. Uh, you actually consolidate skill acquisition overnight while you're dreaming uh, from the skills that you learned earlier in the day. Now, the big question most of our athletes have is how much sleep should you get? Generally, our recommendation is you should have about 60 to 70 hours of sleep per week. But do not worry. Sleep is cumulative, so you don't have to just get that sleep overnight. You can also count in any naps you take throughout the day. There's a very famous study called the Stanford Sleep Study conducted on basketball players that showed that these athletes, once they had 60 plus hours of sleep a week, helped improve their free throw shooting and their suicide sprints on a basketball court dramatically. So we recommend to all of our athletes that they take their sleep very, very seriously. So a couple strategies on how to develop good sleep qualities. We call this sleep hygiene. First, have a routine for yourself. Try to practice this routine on a daily basis and figure out what works for you. Examples for this could be turning your phone and TV off an hour before you go to bed, having a cup of tea or something relaxing, taking a relaxing bath, again, an hour before you go to bed to kind of help you unwind from the day. Other things that really affect sleep and should factor into your routine is light. The body is very sensitive to light. We obviously get sleepy when it's dark outside, we wake up when it's light outside. So make sure you have your room fairly dark. Close the curtains, uh, turn off any excess light. Uh, very important for all you teenagers out there, limit your exposure to screen and cell phones. Blue light is very, very interfering with um, your ability to go to sleep. So there are a couple apps you could use, like one I recommend is called Lux, L.U.X. A really cool app that will help uh, eliminate blue screen from your devices. So stay away from your devices as best you can uh, while you're trying to go to sleep. Uh, next is temperature. Temperature plays a vital role in being comfortable at night. Generally, the ideal temperature is between 62 to 69 degrees. So fairly cool. You can have a blanket, but the room should be fairly cool. That will help you fall asleep. Sleep position considerations. Sleeping on your stomach actually increases your oxygen uptake. So it's great for recovery, but for your spine may not be the most comfortable position to sleep in. If you're just looking for a nice stretched out sleep, you may want to experiment with sleeping on your back, even without a pillow, just to keep your spine in the best alignment as possible. Uh, generally, a medium to firm mattress is recommended as opposed to something that's super squishy. Now, if you want to try something a little out there, there's, you can turn your bed so that your head is facing north and your feet are facing south. This is based on the science of earthing and actually is supposed to align your body to the electromagnetic fields of the earth and help sleep quality. So last thing I'll touch on here is sleep cycles. You generally sleep in 90 minute sleep cycles. So if you wake up in the middle of one of these sleep cycles, you're going to feel very groggy. I'm sure everyone has experienced that at some point. Uh, waking up. Ideally, you want to wake up at the end of one of those 90 minute sleep cycles. So you should set your alarm depending on when you go to bed. You should wake up in six, seven and a half or nine hours. If you do that, you will feel refreshed and ready to go for the day.